Hello everyone, my name is Miss Britt. If you don't already know me, what's up you guys? Yes, I know it's been a long time since I posted a video, but I had complications with my phone. I got a new one. No, it's not the 8. No, it's not the X. I went ahead and got a 7. I need space on my phone, so I decided to get that instead of a better camera. I don't really regret because they're both really nice cameras but anyways today I'm just gonna be doing a simple not so simple welcome back makeup tutorial so if you want to see how I did this look stay tuned to find my face I use elf hydrating and elf pore bliss I kind of have like a combination skin, so I like to use both. So after I do that, I like to let it set into my skin. Then I go in and do my eyebrows while it kind of settles in. So what I'm going to do is trace it out with the pomade first. And then set it with a brow powder. This is Milani in brunette and this is the city color brow powder I don't know where this is from but somebody gave it to me so we're just gonna use it Okay, next I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I use Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Pure Beige. And this one's lighter than this one. And then I go in with Pro Girl in the shade Toffee. I use this for my lid, the darker one. And I use the lighter one for under my brow. So I don't really like to use a brush for this step. The warmth of my fingers really helps it blend out very smoothly and skin-like. So after I blend out all of that, time for foundation. And by the way, you guys, if I'm looking that way, there's a mirror back there that I'm looking at. I forgot. It probably looks weird like looking over you guys. I apologize I'm going for like more of a holiday type thing so we'll see how this goes also I'm using Lancome or Lancome uh, 24 hour makeup in the shade 470 C if you could see that right there I've been told this foundation is a little bit dark for me because I did get it when I had that super deep tan. Forgot when, but just know my face was dark. But uh, 
I'm using Shea Moisture in the shade Hazel. For personal preference, I like to use a foundation brush to distribute the product before I blend it out. Next, I'm going to use my Real Techniques Extra Special Better Than Yours Beauty Blender. I'm just kidding. I don't even know what kind of beauty blender this is. What brand? Beauty Blender is a beauty blender to me. Beauty. Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender. To be honest, this just might be Techniques. I don't even know. Anyways, I'm just going to use it. To get the access foundation, where is my throw? The access foundation off and just blend it out some more. Now I'm going to use my favorite translucent powder, powder Laura Mercier fancy stuff. Yes, I got the tiny one because I was not trying to spend that much money. So I got the $16 one. <sighs> it actually goes a long way. Like, if you just do simple everyday makeup, this is all you need. Just use a little bit. And, you know, a little goes a long way. Especially when you don't have money. So I'm patting the powder onto the lid and underneath my eye. So, I do not have any red shade eyeshadows just yet, but I have a lot of browns, and that's what we're going to do today. I'm using this color right here as my transition, tra tra transition shade, and then I'm going to use this color right here to darken that up. So, let's get to it. So I'm gradually building that transition shade and making it deeper in my crease and then I'm going to go in with the brown all over my lid and up to the crease area. Now I use what I have left from that transition shade and blend. Now I'm going to use a cold pencil and run that across my lid and then use this black to set the coal liner and smudge it out to make it you know Now I'm blending brown to take away any harsh lines from the black and my base shade to blend out even better. And now I'm going to crease out a little tornado shape in the center of my eye. Next I'm going to use this color right here. Or should I use this one? We're going to use both. Next, I'm going to put this over that. It's very metallic golden color. Now I'm blending away any harsh lines I may have from that crease that I just did. I completely forgot this step on accident, but I'm using that brow powder and applying that to the ends of my brow only. Now I'm using concealer by CNC by Kiss in the shade Golden Honey. Whoa, I was cutting it 
super close with that one. Okay. Now I'm gonna use my handy dandy beauty blender. And I set my concealer with Laura Mercier translucent powder. This true complex contour palette. And I'm going to use the contour shade in here and contour my face. I like to get right at the cheekbone and then go up. Kind of like. The higher you make it, the more your cheekbones look like really pop. So I didn't want to do eyeliner, but I think I'm going to do it anyways. Can't go too wrong with eyeliner. So I'm going to use the Maybelline New York Eye Studio in the shade Charcoal. So my guide is my bottom, bottom waterline. And I kind of go up towards my brow, so... Next we have Two Timer by NYX and I'm going to use this Wet n Wild um, Shimmer Palette and I'm going to highlight with that. I'm now outlining my lips with NK Lip Pencil in the color Medium Nude. Now I finish off with NYX in the shade Hot Fudge and NYC in the shade 553 and blend those two together. Now I'm going in with Maybelline Sensational Full Fan Effect. Alright you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you like it. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. <laughs> I love you all and I will see you in the next video.